tra la la pom pom diga diga do Here's a question just for you Fuddle fuddle diddle dee u p i u When, when, which, why, how, and who If that's asking such a lot Shrimp up a piddly pom tick tack tot Then just simply guess what Guess what? Guess what? Ba 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 With Jan Rubesh. Do you know what I'm doing? I am putting soap wrappers into my scrapbook. You see, I travel a great deal, singing here and there and abroad, and whenever I go to a new city, to a new hotel or motel, I keep one of their soaps as a souvenir, a sweet-smelling souvenir. But even a short while ago, this type of collecting was not possible. Even my grandmother could not have done it, because if she needed soap, she had to cook it herself. She could not buy soap in a store. I bet your great-great-grandmothers in Northern America, they not only baked bread, but they also cooked soap at least once a month. And that was a big day. Grandma was very busy. All children were kept away from the kitchen. And there was Grandma cooking soap. I tell you how busy Grandmas used to be. Old Grandma and the West was too. She wore hoop skirts and bustles too. When infants came and the times got bad, she stuck right on to old granddad. She worked hard seven days a week to keep granddad well fed and sleep. Twenty-one children came to bless their happy home in the wilderness. Twenty-one boys, oh how they grew Big and strong on the bacon too Slept on the floor with the sheep and the goats And they hunted in the woods in their oilskin coats Twenty-one the next grandma would scrub Twenty-one shirts in the old wash tub Figure that out if you ain't no dope that took a mighty load of soul. Well, it was quite difficult to make soap just right. Grandma had to know exactly how much potash, uh, that sort of ashes, and how much fat she had to put into the pot, and how long to stir it. And do you know how she knew whether the soap was made or not? She tasted it. And talking of fat and ashes, that's how soap happened possibly long time ago, by happy accident. In those days, long ago, people did not think much about washing. Until one day, a family was cooking a meal. Outside, on the open fire, a fat soup boiling in a big pot the pot dirty with thousands of meals having been cooked in it. The father was feeding the fire with the branches of a beech tree, and everything was going great. And then, suddenly, the wind started to blow. The sky darkened, and rain and lightning scared the family away from the fire, into the shelter of their dwelling. There they were, all hungry, huddled together, hoping the storm would soon come away. And so it did. And they all ran back to the fire. Oh, what a mess. There goes my dinner, the father thought. Sure enough, the storm collapsed everything. The soup was spilled in the dead fire. And the fed of the goat meat was mixed with the ashes of the beech branches. Mm. But the pot was all right. And what's more, guess what? The pot, the pot was clean as a whistle. 
Now for you who go camping, you know how difficult it is to keep a pot clean? Well, what happened was that the first soap in the world was created by mixing the ashes of the beech branches with the animal fat of the goat meat. But of course they didn't know it. But later people did find out about soap. But believe it or not, nobody thought about using soap for washing. Only much, much later. And do you know that Queen Elizabeth I, she used soap only once a month? But your grandmothers, they knew better. They chase their grandchildren always. Go upstairs, wash your hands, and use the soap. Use the soap they made themselves. Huh. How does the soap work? Well, think of it this way. I told you there is uh, fat in your soap, and the fat sort of greases the, the dirt, very much like uh, what happened when you grease your bike. And the oil, the, the dirt slips from your hand with the help of soap. And that, of course, the water washes everything away, the soap and the dirt. And the soap disappears too. But when my soap disappears, I still have the soap wrapper to remind me of the places where I was. This one uh, comes from uh, Blackstrap Hotel in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Well, that's a wheat-growing country there. So why don't we end up with a song from a wheat-growing country? What you gonna do when the rain don't fall? Sing song, kitty, can you carry me your Crops grow small instead of tall. Sing song, kitty, can you carry me your Everything seems to turn out wrong. Sing song, kitty, can you carry me your Weed is short instead of long. Sing song, kitty, can you carry me your Kimo kaimo there always in my high my ho and in come sunny sing sometimes penny wrinkling come nip that sing song kitty can you kai me yo There was a frog he lived in a pool sing song kitty can you kai me yo sure he was the biggest fool sing song kitty can you kai me yo he could dance and he could sing sing song kitty can you kai me yo make the woods around him ring sing song kitty can you kai me yo Kimo kaimo there always in my high my ho and in come sunny sing sometimes penny wickling come nip sing song kitty can you guide me yo 